listening to this music, God is going to get into your head. from the title and thumbnail, I decided to film a video how to stay productive during quarantine because I'm not gonna lie, I've not been the most productive person during this quarantine. I have books that I'm supposed to read, but my lazy has, I don't know, it's just been stuck up around. So I came up with this tip that is gonna help you to stay productive during this quarantine. So if you like this video, give this video a huge thumbs up, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, turn on your post notifications so you can get notified anytime I post a video because I'm going to tell you the truth, you don't want to miss my video and if you are watching this video, like how many percent of you guys are watching my video and not even subscribed, so please subscribe to this video because channel, please subscribe to my channel and also follow all my socials and below as well as on the screen to get updated with my life when I'm not posting. So with that being said, let's just get into today's video. So the first tip I have for you guys is get a money return. So I'm glad you're saying this because my money return has been whack, like whack. Hella whack. My money routine has not been nice and it has not been helping me at all. Like that has made me less productive and glued to the TV. So I'm gonna tell you guys to get a proper money routine because imagine this: if you are going to school or you are going to work, you have a money routine because you have things you are going to do before going to work or to school. So imagine that and just get yourself a money routine so that is going to help you because it's going to help you know what to do at a certain period of time so the next thing is clean your space so when i mean clean your space if you're a student you can clean your reading space or clean that space which you work so just clean that space which you're going to work because if you you can't work in a desk environment no way there's a sitting period where my room was scattered like so scattered and it was very uncomfortable so there is no way you're going to work where a place is scattered so the best thing to do is after getting the money routine clean your space so the next tip is make a plan yeah just like maybe a to-do list or something yeah so make a plan make a plan because there is no how you can't tell me um without a plan there is no how you can fix that thing you want to do it's not possible I think we all have maybe um, for those of us maybe a student, a student or a worker can relate to this when maybe a worker when you, you they get paid like every um, every ending of the month and a student you get your money like your pocket money if you don't plan for that money you are going to spend out the money like you are going to spend the money anyhow a student can relate to it and as a worker if you don't plan for when your money comes like what you're going to do 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 it's not going to work because my mom recently actually yeah so while she's planning on getting her salary she actually plan plan for what she's going to use the money for so that's just what i'm saying so make a plan like maybe it's today this or how you want your day to go and how you want your week your month to go it's good so the next one is take breaks yeah so um exactly take breaks sometimes so you can't just be ella um crazy about this whole thing and not take a break and not take a break sorry it's not going to be possible because there is no how um let's say okay as a student you are reading you are reading for like five hours without taking a break your brain is going to crash you yourself you're going to crash so you you're going to crash so try as much as to take breaks even during this work period or during just doing some things around your house try and take a break and relax Try and take a break and relax, seriously, because if you don't take a break, it's not going to help you in any way or anyhow. I'm not lying. It's not just going to help you. So, take a break. And the next, um, yeah, this is a very, like, in fact, this is for me. <laughs> Reduce your social media and your news consumption. Reduce it. I need to reduce it. Because I can find myself all on social media right now, except especially Instagram and YouTube. So I've been watching YouTube like a whole lot recently, and it's been fun, it's been good, it's okay, but I'm not productive. It's not making me being productive. So reduce your social media, reduce your news consumption, because as much way you 
continue to hear the news continue to hear things that are going on in the world right now uh okay that seven states uh, has been affected by new cases of coronavirus Vegas. 1,700 has been affected by coronavirus. Habuja. The, the more you keep listening to those news, God is going to get into your head because you will get tired. Because normally, right now, we're supposed to be in school, we're supposed to be in work, most people have lost their, lost their job because of this. So, really, like, I'm just going to say, just release your social media and your news consumption. So, at least to focus on the things we need to focus on right now because it's going to make us lose our focus. Exactly. It's just to make us lose our focus. So try as much as to reduce it so as much you focus on most of these things. Then the next thing is eat LD. Exactly. Eat LD. Because if you find out that now you've been at home, you're going to like do a whole lot of things. You're going to do hella crazy lot of things that you're going to eat a whole lot of things. I've been in this situation too. I've been eating drinks, eating crazy things, or at least I think throughout last week I was happy with the way I ate my food because I'm not the best healthy eater. I'm not, like, I'm not really the best. But I've been happy with the way I've been eating since last week and it has been good. And I pray I can continue that this week. So that's just what I'm going to tell you. Like, help just help yourself. Like, help yourself. You really need to help yourself. So next is exercise, yeah, so I've started this exercise, I've been following this app where I started this exercise for the thing and it's been good, seriously it's been okay to me. So like when you think you are not, um, what do you need an exercise for to be productive? You need an exercise because you will stay alert and it will help your body system to adjust to most of the things around you right now because right now you're just sitting in your house down in your house watching the tv always on social media always on youtube doing nothing even if you are reading you're sitting down exercise is going to help your muscles up so your body will feel lazy your body will adjust to naturally anything that happens in your environment but when you try and exercise it increases your muscle works it helps your muscles help your body system to really adjust to whatever thing you want to do so i hope you get that next thing is dress up for yourself exactly so dress up for yourself why i had to like include this was because i actually it affected me yeah it affected me a whole lot so there is this day there is this one certain week i think the last week or so I was um, planning on doing something for that day, or I think it was on a Saturday, yeah, Saturday last week. I was planning to film my video, the last one I just put on. I was trying to film it that day, but I couldn't film it that day because I wasn't even in the mood because I wasn't dressed. I took my bed, like, I took my bed, but I wasn't dressed. I wasn't looking good. I was just putting on some crazy thing that I know I can't even use to feature myself in a video or. Do you just understand what I'm trying to say? Like, dress up for yourself. Any of your routine, you know, you do on dressing up, whether cute clothes, do your hair cutely, and put on your makeup. If you put on makeup, put on your plus, you put on, put on your glasses, or anything, and just be productive. Be okay. It's going to make you feel better and actually make you want to work more. So, I think the next tip is get up at it. So, stop procrastinating. Procrastinating is not good. Stop it. Now, get up and start being productive. Okay? So, the last tip I have now right now is mental and emotional health must be a priority. Exactly. So, your mental and emotional health must be a priority. So, when we talk about your mental health, it's all about trying to be productive. So, if you're stuck in your mental health, if we just um, fun things, videos youtube videos stuff like that and all those kind of things it's not going to work you are not going to work so you need to have a mental balance and also emotional balance that's where news consumption and all these things comes into play because if you don't have it good sense in you it's not going to work you feel somehow good i don't really know how to put it but you should get me so that's all i have for today's video i hope you guys like this video and enjoy this video up to this moment so if you stayed up to this time thank you so so much and i appreciate 
all of you that have subscribed to my channel and you that will be subscribing today thank you very much and awesome stay safe stay healthy we are going to pass through this phase and i hope this tips help you so see you guys next week tuesday bye